We've been waiting for this for a while. <laughs> Dolly Sherman, Kelsey, and Bo was, uh, is, that, is that an oink or? Just... No, that was, he's still enjoying his raspberry, I think. Oh, he's, he, they, oh. they feed him raspberries. His name's Bo, and he's a, tell us Kelsey about him. He's a registered mini Juliana pig. He, um, it's purebred, kind of like a black lab or yellow lab. Um, he is only going to get about 30 pounds, hopefully, to be registered. You have to be under 70, but his parents were both about 30 pounds, and they were um, not fixed. So hopefully the smaller that they get, you know, when they get fixed, they stay smaller. So. Um. I'm hoping I have future grandchildren, but the pig I'm <laughs> the taking pig, first. Do for You've now. been babysitting the pig, Dolly. Here and there. When, yeah. 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 <laughs> now, how old is this little guy? He was born March 7th, so he's a little shy of 12 weeks. 12 weeks. Oh, and uh, is he friendly? He seems oh. to be friendly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's very friendly. After and he got fixed. He gets a little yeah. skittish. He tries to bury his head. I'm surprised he's, he's not burying his head right oh. now. Now, he is uh, housebroken. Yes, he's, a, he's litter box trained. And he uses the pine pellets like you'd use in a horse stall, mm -hmm. not kitty litter. Kitty litter is bad for them. Oh. It's just the actual, you know, regular pine pellets. Okay. They kind of turn to sawdust in them. Why is, I'm sorry, why is kitty litter bad for them? I'm not entirely sure. It's just part of the research that we did when we got okay. them. You know, it was I wonder if they eat it. They might, yeah, because yeah, uh, he, he chews on, you know, like on the pine pellets every once in a while. So That's a distinctive be. color. Yes. I think all minis. He doesn't like your voice, Steve. <laughs> See, he's going to well, hide now. Animal, it's not animal. My voice. I've been talking to him the whole time. It's not well, my voice. You Maybe it's loud. your voice. You were a little loud. <laughs> but, oh, he's okay. hiding. He's hiding now. He's hiding. He's hiding now. Uh, it, but no, is that color common for that? They're all different. Minis? We picked okay. him out of a litter of five, um, actually based on just a picture, because we bought him from uh, Battle Creek, Mich Michigan. Oh, okay. There's not very many breeders around, and the one breeder that Jeff had found originally, unfortunately, passed, and they had to sell the the, the breeding rights off or whatever. So okay. uh, we drove five hours up to Battle Creek and picked him wow. up. In a cereal box. Jeff is, yeah. is Dolly's son, and um, I got to ask you this, Jeff. I know you're off camera, but you raise pigs, right? Uh, my brother does. Your brother. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Why? Can I ask you why you wanted to have a pig as a pet? Uh, I think it started as a joke. Uh, my brother with his meat hogs, I used mm -hmm. to play with them. And when I was real little, he put me on the back one and I rode it. <laughs> and just had fun with them. Yeah. I mean, they're smart animals. Mm -hmm. so. And they're clean. And they're, they're clean. very clean. clean. Very clean. Like, what do you feed? Kelsey, he, this... actually, he actually has mini pig food. You can get it like Tractor Supply or one of the feed stores. It comes in like a 25 pound bag, but he only gets fed uh, an eighth of a cup twice a day. And if, you, if you give him like he loves uh, any kind of fruits and vegetables except carrots. He doesn't like carrots. Um, but if you feed, if you supplement with that, then we just take the mini pig food. Actually, you know, we just decrease it a little bit. So. Oh. And he likes raspberries. He does. He likes he likes most fruit. We haven't found anything besides carrots that he doesn't eat yet. Oh. Um, can you turn him around a little bit yeah. so we can see his thing? Squeal. What about lipids other than water? I, he, um, I haven't given him anything other than water, although he did try flavored water. He likes that. Flavored water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Grammy gives you raspberries, huh? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's I wonderful. Don't know if those, I don't know if they're probably his little heels. Yeah. He might not. Rub his belly. Huh? He might not. It's too hard for him to walk on it. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh,
they have a, a pigs have a thing about if, if mm. they can't see you, you can't see them. It's like a safety, you know, a defense mechanism. So way he I buries understand. his head, then he thinks that he's just, you know, he's, he's good to go. Yeah, he's Did you good. figure out the sounds by yourself, or were you? We looked them up. Yeah, we looked them up a couple of them. But he's, I mean, you kind of just like any other animal. You know, like my dog, I know if he has a bark to go outside or a bark that something's in the driveway, or you know, we can kind of, you know, we've had him for a couple weeks now. We kind of try to figure out. There's a there's a hungry oink. Okay. Sometimes he's just hungry. Does he sleep? All through the night. All through the night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Since the first day we got him. Where's Daddy? Now these pigs are expensive. They are. He was yeah. He was expensive. He was he's about an expensive a, guy. He was about a thousand dollars, and that came with you had to sign a contract saying that you'd get him neutered. So then we had to find a vet that would neuter a mini pig. Now why do you have to neuter them? Well, because they're purebred. If you don't buy the breeding rights, you're under contract to neuter them. Really? Mm-hmm. Let's take this phone call. I hope it's related to Mr. Bo. <laughs> Hi, you're on the air. Yes, my phone number is 265 I have a beautiful couch for sale for $200 from Death Stopper. Okay, we're not doing that right now, but I'll let you get that through. What's your number again? 265 uh, Okay. Thank, Thank you. 6445, Pat. Okay. What do you think of that, Bo? <laughs> Your special segment, and you get interrupted by a couch sale. <laughs> Since I'm on, I do want to talk about the, um, just kind of remind everyone about the windmill run. Oh, okay. For the um, Human Resource Center and the Art Center. Okay. Part it's tomorrow. And it then. is July 25th. Oh. No, July 25th. Uh, Pre registration is July 15th. It's $15 to run and $10 to walk. And if you register there, it's $20 to run in 15 to walk. Okay. And I think for first prize is 100, second prize is 50. It starts at the Community Center of Artists. Okay. Okay. Can you leave that with me? Yeah, I'm going to leave all this here. All There's right. a few things going on. We can go, um, go ahead and announce them. I don't, I, this one here ought to be really fun. Yeah. July 3rd. What are you talking about that? The class reunion. Um, it's Dance the Night Away with Sky High. Mm -hmm. Special guests are TCB, the Connie Boys, class mm -hmm. reunion. So it ought to be good, July 3rd at the Human Resource Center. Yeah, all the money goes to the Human Resource Center mm -hmm. for that. Tom Parks putting that together. And uh, mm -hmm. Tom Parks' number, if you want tickets, 599-8762. And you can also pick up uh, tickets at the County Human Resource Center as well. July 3rd, put that on your calendar. And what's that other one? The peanut butter 8 guy. 8 p.m. That yeah, starts at 8. 8. The Great Peanut Butter and Jelly Jeep Jam, sponsored by the Simpson Family Jeeps. It's Sunday, June 28th, noon to 3, and they want you to bring in, I was reading, it's non-perishable food. It's for the food pantry. Sure. Okay. And there'll be giveaways. They're going to give you a raffle ticket for every two items you bring in. Okay. And they're going to give a lot of gift cards away. Okay, cool. It's, uh, yeah, we've been announcing So I will well. leave these here. I want Please to make do. sure we yeah. get a lot of people to bring in for the food pantry. And I understand yesterday was your last day at the yes. health uh, department. I'm going to miss it. Yeah, I, I'm sure you will. Yeah. But you did a great job. I'm still going to be, How like, if they here? need me, six and a half years. Did you really? Yeah. What was your real job? They didn't make me turn you in my a, key. You're not a nurse. A registrar. Right. I, did, I did all the birth and deaths. Oh, And right. then everything else that everyone wanted to do. So if I wanted to get my birth certificate, I could get it from you. Mm -hmm. Okay. As long as you were born in Ohio. I was. So, yeah, I will miss it. Yeah. Getting back to the pig. Yes. Oh, you want to talk about family members? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> is Bo active like all day, or how are they active? Do as, they run as, around? Yeah, or as, does he as play? He plays. He, um, we actually had to go buy him dog toys when we first got him because they had to have something to chew on. So we just got, you oh, know, okay. um, he likes Nyla Bones. Kinda, he kind of shares with my dog every once in a while. But okay. um, yeah, he's as active as we let him be. If he. Um, <laughs> You know, if I'm trying to get something done and he's just not, I mean, sometimes he just won't let you do anything, then we kind of put him back in his cage. He takes a little nap. Um, but other than that, he can run around. Um, okay. He kind of finds, he roots in his blankets. They root a lot. And um, we just don't want him to root, you know, root up a floor or the carpet or anything. <laughs> so he has all these blankets and towels in his crate. And he goes in there and he noses around. And then he finds a spot and he curls up. And sometimes he covers himself completely. <laughs> and we know when he does that because he starts screaming because he can't figure out how to get oh, out. Yeah. So then we got to go on unwrap him. But yeah, he, he'll stay up for as long. Do you have other pets in the house, like a dog or something? I have a dog, yeah. How does he relate to them? The dog has no, not a single versa. care. Okay. I mean, like when we first brought him home, we didn't introduce him right away, and um, 
he didn't even smell them on me really. The dog didn't really even, even really? care. I don't now think they, they do. No, they, uh, mm -hmm. Dolly's dog didn't really mind. So either. the dog didn't try to eat him. Or... No, nothing like that. Um, didn't the get only mad. thing, the pi no, they didn't get mad. No jealousy or anything. But the pig likes dog food. So you have to put the dog food up if you want. <coughs> My cat likes dog food. See? Well, it's the same thing. Yeah. yeah. We just put it up, you know, and then we just Have you ever tried dog, dog food? No. Well, I haven't either, so I don't know. <laughs> we might like it too. <laughs> so he takes naps during the day then? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. And like, like this, he looks like he's probably, I don't know if his eyes are open or not, but sometimes he does this. He did this the whole five hours home from Michigan. Really? He sat on Jeff's lap and... Wow. Yep. Yeah, we would let him out to go to the bathroom and, you know, eat and everything, mm -hmm. but he would just kind of lay there, you know, eyes half open. And that cat is so cool. Mm -hmm. I really do. He had a little tuxedo to wear he did. On today. It's oh. very hard to put clothes on though. They, something about the covering, you know, like you can't put a harness on him that covers his whole back. He kind of makes that running Swing. noise. Yeah. But if you use a harness that has um, the openings in it, he, we put him in that once. Um, but he has a tuxedo? He does have a tuxedo. Oh, that's cute. You would have so he goes to formal something. things. With Not this. yet, but we're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're up for offers. <laughs> <laughs> Half pig will travel. So. I love the color. It's oh just, yeah, that's, that's why just, we picked him. He was he yeah. was the one who in the pictures that the breeder had taken. There were five. Uh, I think it was what two boys and three girls, and. Mm -hmm. um, I he kind of looked. Girl. He kind of looked right into the camera, and oh, really? you know, he just looked like yeah. He it's just like say, pick me. right, exactly. So yeah. we picked him, and yeah, he was I the only one that had this kind of coloring. Okay. A couple of the other ones had very little spots, and then one, the heaviest one that was born, had oh, he was almost all spots. So we kind of picked the in between one, okay. and like half of his face is pink, right, and the other half is completely dark. His yeah. eyes dark. Yeah. 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 How did he handle his surgery? Really well, actually. Yeah, you, I, they just the only I thing. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I was going to ask him. The only thing that bothered me, I, we loved where we took him to. We actually went to Pennsylvania because it was the closest spot that we could find. That they had a call all over. We like a, nobody, yeah. nobody does nobody. mini pigs, which yeah. we probably should have found out first. But we did find one. Um, they but wouldn't, oh, they wouldn't. A lot of them. a lot of vets won't Why do is there it. a particular? I think Problem it's just, no, I think it's because they use a different kind of anesthetic than dogs do, yeah, and it's probably not, you know, as readily available, okay. and I think that you can, I'm not sure, but I, I would imagine you can specialize in, like, farm-type animals versus domesticated sure. ones. Sure. Not very domesticated, but not very many pigs, but... My um, oldest said, I'll just do it right here. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, no, no. So he, he was put under, and the only thing that I didn't know about them is when they when they neuter them, they don't actually sew the incisions shut or use, like, the super glue or staples. Because they just leave them open. open. Pigs are not susceptible to infection so oh, they can not. they can get away with doing that oh, and by letting them drain you know they say it's healthier so we we were just taken oh, back okay. a little bit when we got home he's dripping so thank god you know we just held he some healed. paper towels and he yeah he's completely he healed, healed really and well. no pain medicine he's no already nothing. healed oh yeah within a couple of days it was scabbed really? over and he was That's fine amazing. he never bothered it didn't lick it didn't you're kidding he itched it no, like a dog you know? times, dog would yeah you gotta put yeah. the thing on there oh yeah when i fixed my dog he had, had a the cone. oh yeah and... he had the whole nine yeah so but yeah he was i mean we i really was nervous to take him home without pain medicine or anything and I, we called the vet and they said he'd be fine. He was. So it never gave him pain medicine. Mm -mm. Wow. Nope. He's now, microchipped. Are you sure? I'm sorry. Um, how big it's going to be, or no, are you just guessing? We're, I'm just estimating based on we got to see both parents when we picked them up from the breeder. Okay. And um, <clears throat> they say that, like I said, that when you neuter them and the younger you neuter them, the smaller they stay. So oh. to be fully registered and purebred and, and meet the registry requirements, they have to be under 70 pounds. But his mom was 32 and the dad was 34, and that's you know without being fixed. So we are kind of ballparking like people that mm -hmm. you know unless he sure. got the the grandfather gene where he's six foot tall and four hundred pounds then hopefully he'll be we're in trouble. He'll stay smaller, yeah. So so you're guessing maybe what's the lifespan? About 20, what's the lifespan? About twenty years. Really? Mm -hmm. okay. Well, he's gonna have a good life. Man. Oh yeah. See that there's a lot of love there, <laughs> and uh, I'm so glad That's you cool. got to bring him in, Donnie yeah. and, and Kelsey. Since I post pictures. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what got me. <laughs> He's the, like Kanye's the, newest celebrity. Yeah. yeah. Yes. He's a good boy. Bo. Is that B-O? Bo? Bo, yeah. It's short for boy, Agrius Oliver. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, what okay. movie is it from, Jeff? Troy. 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 What's the name? What the real name? Bo Agrius Oliver. Oh, so, Agrius. I can't hide. So, it's B, you know, short for B. That's Bo. Yeah. So. yeah. All right. Will mm -hmm. he go home now and take a nap because he's warm? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's been up. He's been through a lot. I drove for Menno this morning, so he took a nap in the car, too. Oh, so. oh really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Does yeah. he stay with you then at times? Whenever that, yeah. And their house should be ready in a couple weeks. Okay. So they're between his brother, grandma, 
my house. Yeah. Whoever will take us, really. Yeah. The car. <laughs> They're living in the car. car. Yeah. What do you got? You guys building here or something? Or are you moving? Or uh, five years ago, I bought a house on Welton Road, and uh, we're just moving in. Oh, Welton there. Road. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Before yeah. you went into the army. Wanted to be close to my mother. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. You have a great mom, by the way. A very good mom. Um, Thank you, Dolly. Thank you, Kelsey. Oh, Thanks, Thanks Jeff. Thanks for having us. Wow. It, it, this yeah. has been fun. And, uh, twice in one week. Yeah, you were on twice this week. You're I'm gonna scared. Be, you're going to become a regular co-host. Not, you're not working. <laughs> I'm not good with the camera. <laughs> yeah, you always say that, but you do well. You'll have to bring him back when he's... Yeah, sure. Really, whatever you're Yeah, please we'll do. We'll be, we'll be close. We'll be fun. We'll, we'll see how big he's... What, well, yeah, we did boy. notice. Right. We did notice he's getting little... He's already? Well, they, they do oh. say that they get, that they all they all have tusks. It's just a longer tooth. Um, it just, just depends on how long it gets, whether or not it protrudes, like whether he'll look like Pumbaa or whether he'll just kind of have a, a Can little Can you see it in there, Steve? His little yeah. bumps? Yeah. Little bump. We noticed oh, it right away, so we were oh, nervous that they were... But they oh. haven't, you know, they're not poking out. Yeah. And it's hard yeah. for us to get him to open his mouth enough to see what exactly how long What if he'd use that for retaliation of some sort? We're hoping he doesn't spear the dog someday. That's oh, all. Lord. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Thank you guys so oh, much. No Thanks for having us. Thank you.